Hi, hi, it's Annie. In this video, we are going to look at how to get started in the Skippy or the Skip Barber. The license requirement for the Skippy is a D license. So straight after Rookie, you can jump into the Skippies. The schedule for the Skippies is every hour. When it comes to the setup for the Skippy, I normally use the baseline. You can, however, adjust your SPO and your ARB. Now, the SPO is the swing perch offset. That is what will lift the car or lower the car so that you can take the curbs more aggressively. And that depends on the track. So the higher the curbs are on the track, you might want to consider lifting the car, otherwise you will get wing damage. How to prepare and how to practice. The Skippy is a very fragile car. So I would suggest hopping into open practice sessions so that you can get used to racing closely with other drivers. What can you expect during a Skippy race? The slightest bump or the slightest oh, touch Perfect. will send you into the walls or into the pits or will wreck your car. Oh no, no, no! Oh. Behind his oh. During these races, you have one fast repair. So if you so happen to be in a crash in, or an incident, you can tow to the pits. Oh. Or if the car is drivable, try and drive the car to the pits. It is much quicker than towing. Also in the Skippy race, you do not need tires or fuel. So you can uncheck those in your black box. Race starts for the Skippies are much like the Rookie series. It is a standing start, so you don't have to worry about any pace cars. Okay, Annie, get ready. Also, when it comes to the setup, a lot of people use a qualification setup and a race setup. I personally choose to qualify with my race setup purely because I normally forget to load my race setup after quali. What are you doing? Really? 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 Still there. Stay there. The left side is clear. The Skippy races are fantastic. There's very close racing. It is loads of fun. Really? But be prepared to get frustrated because like I said, the car is very fragile and the slightest bump will get you into the pits. The Skippy is also a training car. So if you want to learn real racecraft and how to handle most cars, the Skippy is definitely the go-to car. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe if you want to. And also follow us on Twitch for live racing. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Happy racing.